Hello everyone and welcome to my daily report market analysis videos on Wednesday 30th of October with me which is Premier Market Analyst at Hantech. Uh, There's this very slight um, air of corrective move, a little bit of caution um, that we've seen through uh, certainly equities actually um, in, the, uh, in the past uh, day. We saw Wall Street a shade lower, futures a touch lower as well. And uh, that sort of reflected through into Asian markets and also European markets all through this morning. Um, and it's interesting that this is coming at um, as the uh, sort of a few question marks are beginning to arise as to the viability of China's uh, ability and willingness to really sort of take on um, what Donald Trump wants them to do in order to buy um, US agricultural products. Um, he wants them to basically double the amount that they're buying um, to $50 billion a year. Um, and China's sort of well, suggestion is that China probably wouldn't need that much and or want that much. So th there's question marks as to where, exactly whether that could be the case. But to be honest, the, the, the um, run rate towards the um, uh, phase one agreement is still really going. So this is a uh, hopefully just a little um, bump on the road and a little bit of a, a risk aversion there. But uh, to be honest, markets are really looking out towards the Fed tonight. That is obviously going to be the key uh, factor for today's session. We've got um, the likelihood that uh, the Fed will be cutting interest rates um, pretty much all um, entirely priced in a 25 basis point rate cut um, by the market. But then um, it's uh, exactly how uh, Jerome Powell and the Fed sort of then guide the markets because that would be a third rate cut in three meetings and um, well that would obviously be a little bit more conceivably more than um, just insurance cuts so how cautious is the Fed going to be today is the question now the dollar has just rolled over a touch yesterday's session and today we've seen yields just sort of coming off the top a little bit as marginal move back into safe havens but to be honest um this is the dollar at inflection points really uh, I, what i see 109 big figure for dollar yen 111 big figure for euro dollar gold back um well, it's bounced a little bit higher from uh, 1480 but uh, 1480 is a key area on gold so some uh, important levels that um the, these uh, dollar charts have been testing and uh it uh, comes ahead of the Fed, and the Fed, I think the Fed meeting and how the Fed sort of puts its stall out um, is going to be uh, fairly significant for the outlook in the coming days. Now, um, other data points today. We've got a fair amount to get through. We've got um, on the US side, we've got uh, the um, ADP employment. Um, again, does that uh, give a lead through to uh, the payrolls report on Friday? 120,000, not great jobs growth there. We've got the advanced GDP, 1.6%. First look at Q3 GDP, down from 2% in Q2. Interesting. Um, and also uh, into the afternoon, we've got the um, EIA inventories. Um, crude stocks expected to rise by half a million barrels. OK, so that takes me on to my chance of the day. Now, I've been talking about improved risk appetite recently, and that continues to bit play as a theme through um, Australian dollar and uh, the strengthening of the Aussie dollar, certainly against the yen, is beginning to come through. We've seen a breakout above the 74.50 key September high, and that is now sort of coming on, uh, well, decisive positive counter yesterday, seemingly, again, using that breakout as a basis of support today. Last couple of days, it's happened that way. And uh, I think the market, if it can move above that 74.82, which was that uh, last week's high. If it can break out above that, then you can really see the market, I think, pulling forward towards the 76.25 uh, next key resistance, which was basically the resistance throughout the early to mid-summer. So what we have on, uh, on Aussie Yen is this improvement, general improvement through, look at the um, momentum indicators, RSI holding decisively above 60 for the past two, two and a half weeks, MACD lines rising stochastics decisively holding above the 80 mark for the last couple of weeks as well. So it really does suggest that intraday rallies, uh, sorry, intraday corrections are a chance to buy. Now, you can see here on the hourly chart that the support does come in around that 74 figure mark. And that was, if I zoom out here, 73.95, 74 figure. Basically, 
the key breakout point from that old October high. So old, res old resistance becomes new support. And you've got uh, the hourly chart also showing strong configuration on the momentum as well. So little corrections are a chance to buy. And it looks as though that the Australian dollar is beginning to take into a recovery um, path now and uh, it looks as though the outlook is going to get increasingly positive on against Aussie um, on Aussie yen on a move above 74.82 on a closing basis that would open 76.25 for the next area so with that in mind I wish you good luck in your trading click here to subscribe to our analysis videos also go to our website to sign up for our webinars